What are the best women's running shoes on the market? Hey, I'm Brenda. I'm the editorial director of Forbes Vetted here to talk about the Forbes Vetted Awards, our inaugural list where we're naming the very best products of 2024. Our editors have researched and extensively tested hundreds of products over a bunch of different categories, including spending time with 10 pairs of women's running shoes over many months and many miles. Our testing found that the Mizuno Wave Rider 26s were the very best women's running shoes of the year because of their lightweight yet roomy construction, their moderate cushioning, and their extreme durability. The first reason why we love the Mizuno Wave Rider 26s is because of their extremely lightweight, especially for a shoe that was not specifically formulated for racing. These shoes weigh in at 8.3 ounces, which is honestly only about two ounces heavier than a racing specific shoe like the Saucony Endorphin Elite, and about an ounce lighter than a comparable daily trainer like the Brooks Ghost. With the lightweight, you're actually not sacrificing any of the comfort and roominess in the shoe. As you can see, there is a pretty generous toe box over here, which lets your feet splay out and really sink in as you're running. And there's a super supportive and durable heel that will keep the lower legs really happy as you are logging miles. A chunkier heel like you see on the Mizuno Wave Rider 26s can often make for a heavier and thus slower shoe, but instead the heel really supports the lower leg and the calf, putting less load on the Achilles. And it is created with a very durable material called carbon rubber that keeps the shoes durable and will allow you to use them for much longer than your average daily trainer in terms of mileage. The third reason why we really love the Mizuno Wave Rider 26s is because of their great energy return, yet their incredible comfort and support in the cushioning. The Wave Rider 26s are made with something called the Mizuno Energy Foam, and that is not a very cushy material, but it provides some good support and allows your feet to sink in, especially when you're on those longer runs for like two or more hours. There's also a technology in these shoes called the Wave Plate, and it's not made with carbon fiber like a lot of the current plates are in modern running shoes, but instead a lightweight and flexible polymer that still provides that, that comfort and that really snappy energy return as you are logging miles. Because of the durable heel, the moderate cushioning, and the fairly lightweight, I would say this is a great shoe for longer miles, especially marathon training runs where you're trying to inject a little bit of tempo into the run. I would not probably favor these for track workouts or anything speedier, and certainly not for road racing where every single ounce counts, and as we talked about, this is a couple ounces heavier than your racing specific shoe. But truly for those 18, 20, 22 milers in the thick of marathon training, pick these up, you will not regret it. To learn more about the Mizuno Wave Rider 26s and the rest of the winners of the Forbes Vetted Awards, please check out Forbes Vetted.